third graders. Welcome to Learn and Share. We're doing number sentence practice using model drawing. Problem 10. Anna and Lena have $70 all together. Anna has $10 more than Lena. How much money does each of them have? Explain your answer using model drawing and number sentence strategy. Do you want to try it yourself? Feel free to pause the video and try it yourself. Do you want to see how I solved it? I solved it in a step-by-step -step way. Let's see it. So let's review how model drawing is. So we'll do a quick recap. So, we use rectangles to represent the given quantities. The quantities missing and the more quantities needed. We can represent the quantities missing with a question mark. This can be used for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and even division. So let's start. Let's start by drawing a model of what we know. We know that Anna and Lena together have $70. So here, we have a rectangle showing $70. Next, we know that Anna has $10 more than Lena. So let's have this box for Anna and this box for Lena. Since Anna has $10 more, I made a slightly bigger rectangle for her. Here, I have aligned two rectangles, one below the other, because it gives a better comparison of the two. Since Anna has $10 more, so let's say this part on the right represents $10. Suppose, so if suppose we remove this $10, then both Anna and Lena will have the same amount of money, right? But if we do that, then the total will also get reduced by 10. This means the new total will be 70 minus 10 equals 60. Here we have the new total, which is 60. And Anna and Lena will both have to be equal money amounts now. So in order to find each of these parts, we can divide the total by two. So let's do it. So 60 divided by two equals 30. So let's put 30 in these two boxes. And now the final part is to put the extra $10 back in Anna's box. And here it is. This gives us a total of $70 again, since we added it. And this gives us a total of 40 for Anna. So, Anna has $40, and Lena has $30. Yay, we solved the problem. Coming up is the fun part, and that is, make your own word problem. Here is a tip. For this kind of word problem, you will need to know the total quantity of two people and also know how much more quantity one person has than the other. From this information, we can find out how much quantity each person has. Here's an example. My brother and I have read fixed 15 books 
all together. I have read five more books than my brother. How many books have each one of us read? It's so easy to make your own word problems, right? For more word problems, click the link in the description box below. Hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye.